ナバラは4ローでリアでフロックしか使えないようにしよう We should totally release a product that lets you lock your rear diff even outside of full low. Okay. I'm not a cool enough influencer to have to have a discount code or anything, but if enough people comment down below saying give us a discount code, maybe、uh, the Black Ops guys will <laughs> give us、uh, a discount code of bread or something. This is the little module that controls your diff locker. So you're literally just gonna replace that with that and then plug in the old one into here. Let's plug in the new one. Not a lot of space to work with. All right, so now that we've got the new one plugged in, we just have to plug the old one into the new loom. Now we need to get our new anytime locker switch in its place. So we'll just pull this section of the dash out. I actually had to reconnect the battery at this point to be able to take the nav out of park.、Uh, that let me move the, the gear selector back into neutral, and then I had to remove the gear selector as well、uh, just to get this piece of the console out of the way to make it easier. If you've never taken the gear selector apart, it's pretty simple. Just pull the bottom section down, which exposes a clip, and then take that clip out, and the top part comes off. Alright, so now that we've got that out of the way, it gives us access to this panel here, which from the bottom,、um, it's a nice firm pull and it should just undo the clips. So, what I'm doing now is just unscrewing the panel that holds the switches in. I don't lose the screws. So now we've got the switchboard.、Um, I've already got a UHF one in that slot there,、um, and I've done a slight dodgy one where I've just gone straight through the switch. And gutted out the、uh, connection piece just because of the type of UHF I bought. But、um, if you don't have that there, this will be a bit more free to move around. But pretty much, we want to disconnect this switch from the back, the diff lock one. It's not going to be doing anything now. That, that frees us up now to pull this switch out. Sweet. So, lifting the tabs on the bottom and the top of the switch, pushing on the back, pops it out. And this is just going to float behind there now. So, plug it back in. Feed the new switch through here somewhere.
a new switch here ready to go in the panel. So off camera I just did some cable management up the back there, keep it nice and tidy. So let's get the new switch popped in, take it out, and then push it in. Make sure it's turned off. But I'll go back in. Now, we reverse exactly what we've done. So you screw your plates back in, push it back in, pop your all your dash back together and away you go. Just like that, she's back together, and we have the ability now to lock the rear diff even in two-wheel drive. Sorry to disappoint anyone that might be hanging around to the end of the video to see me do a skid now that we can lock the diff in two-wheel drive, but uh, it won't be happening. Try to think of a reason why Nissan would have thought that only using your locker in four low was a good idea, like other than the obvious fact that now in two-wheel drive you can do do some skids but um, if you can imagine you're out on the tracks and something up the front of your vehicle breaks and you only have rear-wheel drive to get out of a track or something um, being able to lock your your diff even in two-wheel drive is yeah it's a mod that you should do it's probably stupid if you don't do it um, if you're in the four-wheel driving so thanks for tuning in to another episode guys don't forget to like subscribe and I will yeah see you on the next one peace I want to do a skid so bad, but we'll be responsible.